in this lecture we are going to learn about a problem that is known as edit distance so this is the problem edit distance what does this mean so you are given two strings okay of size m and n and you are given a set of operations okay which is replace one character of the string you can insert some characters in the string you can delete some character from the string and all of them are of equal cost so find the minimum number of edits or operations that are required to convert one string to another okay so this is the idea so for example coat code okay and let's say something you misspelled it in your microsoft word and you wrote c o d t so now your word will give you an option that okay is it uh, you were writing c o a t code so how much is the difference so it is two things it is differing okay so book if you write and if you do it boot so what how many edits are required so i will just what i will do i will replace these k with t and it will book will become boot so if you have let's say lap lap and i want to make it something like lappy so i just need to make one insertion here and other way around if i want to make lappy lap i need to delete this character so these are the things that are given to you these are the operations and all of them are of equal cost so the edit distance of two strings so s1 and s2 is then defined as the minimum number of those operations like changing one letter inserting a letter or deleting a letter that is required to change the string s1 to s2 so how will you do this problem so we have now we have xn and ym so these are the two strings okay x is the string with length n and y is your string which you want the destination string which i want to convert x2 is another string of length m so how to solve this problem we will use dynamic programming based approach to solve this so we define one variable let eij okay be the minimum number of operations needed to change x1 to i to y1 to j okay so what's this now x1 to i is the prefix of the string x which is of length i okay so the first i characters our index starts from one here and y1 to j is the prefix of y of length j so what we need to finally find we need to find e of n comma m okay so this is what we need to calculate which will give us the minimum number of operations to edit x to y so now what is there okay so let's treat c e i j is the minimum number of steps required to change x1 to i to y1 to j so is there any recursion here okay we want to think is there any sub problems there okay so in which i can represent e i j your e i j is basically i want to convert the string x1 to y2 y1 to j can we divide this problem into some smaller sub problems and which we can solve and get the solution to this eij okay so this is our approach eij is the minimum number of steps required to convert x1 to i to y1 to j but can it be represented in some shorter smaller sub problems so let's see if x of i is equal to y of j what will happen okay so let's try to see e a t b okay and e b t b so now this is x this is y so if the and i want to find what e 4 comma 4 that the number of steps required to convert x to y so now if this both these characters in the end are equal then our problem just reduces to finding e of i minus 1 comma j minus 
because I just need to find now eat how can it be converted to EBT then we are solved because the last character of both the strings are same so at least this case I got one case that e of i minus 1 e of i comma j is e of i minus 1 comma j minus 1 if xi is equal to yj okay but if it is not the case then what will happen if xi is not equal to yj so let's try to look at that case also so let's have e a t b e a t c now these two are also not equal and we wanted to find 4 comma 4 so of course one thing what i can do easily is i will say that okay not a big problem what i can do is let's convert e a t b i will convert to c and now it is here i will have d or e d t c so now this has become the same now you just give me the answer to a one easier sub problem that is e of 3 comma 3 because i have converted b to c i have replaced the last character of x to the last character of y okay so this has become the same now you have got a simpler problem please solve it so this is e of i minus 1 comma j minus 1 plus 1 this plus 1 is for replace replacement okay replacing x i with y j because they were not the same so i am now changing this problem to this case to this particular first case so this is done now let's try to see are there any other sub problems in which this main problem can be converted to another other case what i can do so this page is cluttered now let's try to see another case so case 3 so two cases we have considered so now case 3 e i comma j is e of i minus 1 comma j plus 1 so why is this we are reducing to some sub problems which is smaller so what is happening here so here with this one i want to think why this is happening so i am trying to say that okay my work was to convert x 1 to i to y 1 to j but i want to okay reduce the problem a little bit okay it's big problem for me so x if i know somehow that if i know how to convert in most efficient way i know how to convert x 1 to i minus 1 to y 1 to j then what is there then it becomes easy if i know this solution okay converting x 1 to i minus 1 to y 1 to j then i will just need to do is remove the last character just delete it so for example if i have eat y and ebt okay so let's say this is there and i want to find e4 comma 3 now i know that okay e of 3 comma 3 i know that okay iat can be converted to ebt using just changing a to b so this i know is one and if i know how to convert it to ebt what will i do i will just remove this thing okay y will be removed so that's what is being done here e i comma j so i am trying to just find if i know that okay if i know e i minus 1 comma j then just one deletion of the last character plus one for that and we try to delete the x i and then just try to find how to convert x 1 the first i minus 1 prefix so to y 1 comma j so similarly the case 4 is if somehow i know how to convert x 1 to i to y of 1 to j minus 1 okay i can convert that then what can i do so this means that okay so again eat 
I know how to convert this to EBT again and there is S also okay so if I know that okay so here my problem is E 3 comma 4 but I know how to convert to E 3 comma 3 okay because I just can convert converting A to B so this will be done then what is left I can always insert also because that operation is also there with me so I can do EAT I can convert to EBT I can then add or insert an S at the end okay so this is there so I have used all my possible cases insertion deletion and other one was replacement so I have used all of them so any more possibilities so I think no so you have used all your possibilities of operations so I can happily write now that EIJ is equal to but there are these possibilities now which one will be giving you the best answer you don't know that because again this equation is recursive it will be opening up again and again till you hit the bottom case of some trivial case like e of 1 comma 0 e of 5 comma 0 something like that 0 comma 0 so the thing is i have to these cases and i just can write now here is e i comma j is minimum of e i comma j minus 1 plus 1 e of i minus 1 comma j plus 1 and e of i minus 1 comma j minus 1 plus diff of i minus 1 i comma j where diff of i comma j let me define so that is equal to 1 if x i is not equal to y j and is equal to 0 if x i is equal to y j okay so this is there so we are done with defining the recursive equation so now what we will like to do is that again in this recursive step is done are there any overlapping sub problems so if you try to see it little bit so e5 comma 6 if i do so it will be something like minimum of e4 comma 6 e5 comma 5 okay and e4 comma 5 e4 comma 6 e5 comma 5 and e4 comma 5 okay again these to find out this again i take out recursion e3 comma 5 e4 comma 5 okay so will this be the case e3 comma 5 4 comma 4 and 3 comma 4 so these will be the cases and again e4 comma 6 can be divided into 3 comma 6 4 comma 5 3 comma 5 and so on so you will see lot of so 3 comma 5 3 comma 6 is here 4 comma 5 3 5 3 5 is here 3 5 is here you have 4 comma 4 so lot of if you will expand this tree you will see that lot of overlapping sub problems are there so we will be in this if we follow from top down so lot of problems we will be solving again and again so to avoid that we will use dynamic programming and we will form a table bottom up okay to solve this problem so to see this example let's try out with this trials we want to convert zeal okay so let's try to see my color has changed so we want to convert zeal into trials okay how will it be converted but this we will see in our next lecture where we will we will see how to run this dynamic programming operation so i hope you understand this recursive part how to write the recursive equation for this i hope you like this video if you like this video please subscribe to my channel tell to your friends thanks a lot